Hello everyone, I'm Case Will Banks with our Decision 2024 coverage of the Lubbock Mayor's race. Joining me now is Stephen Sanders, one of six candidates on the ballot for Lubbock Mayor. Stephen, thanks for being with us. Absolutely, and thank you for having me. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the voters. Yes, my name is Stephen Sanders and I'm running for mayor. Um, I am the candidate that is going to put the people at the heart of every decision. And I've been doing this for quite some time, uh, since 2018 when I ran the first time. And I'm just excited about this opportunity to serve you um, as your next mayor. So tell me about your background. Uh, so w when I first started doing this, uh, it's, this all started from youth ministry with my church, uh, going out to feed the homeless. Um, and uh, I started doing that on my own. Um, and, and then I started asking questions like, who is, who's in charge of these type of things and these initiatives for the city? Um, and when I would call the city, nobody really knew. Uh, who was really in charge of that and I felt like that was an opportunity for me to really step forward and, and start being uh, a leader in our community. So that's kind of how it started. Um, and then I, I went to, of course, I went to tech. Um, I got my degree there uh, in advertising and then I double minored in creative media industries and business uh, so that I could have that well-rounded background to be able to serve. So you mentioned uh, running for mayor before um, in a previous cycle. What makes this run different? You know, when I ran the, all the other times previous, I think I was looking to really win, uh, but, but I really, while I still wanna win, I know that it's important that we get the message out, whether it's winning or not, that we've got to come together. The city's got to come together. We've, we're, we're at a really pivotal time where we have to make good decisions and whether I'm the mayor or not, it's still gonna be important for me to get the, the right message out and that is that we can, we can overcome the situations that we're in in Lubbock. So you mentioned putting people um, at the heart of everything. Uh, what are some of those top issues that uh, you hope to tackle as mayor? Um, and as you said, putting people uh, with that. You know, uh, public safety is, is, should be everybody's uh, top issue. Um, we're gonna get a, a new police chief soon. I'm very excited about that. I think I'm pulling for the guy from Midland, but I won't, I won't go there. I'm just a plug for him. Uh, but uh, I feel like public safety is the most important issue. On the flip side of public safety, um, our roads are behind, way behind. Uh, we've paid for those bonds, and we haven't taken care of that stuff. I'm going to get a plan, um, and I'm going to present it to them, and we're going to figure out what we've spent and what we've ac accomplished already, and then if they, we're gonna give them a timeline to, to get caught up, and if they can't, then we'll, we'll take those funds and put those funds somewhere where someone can go ahead and get our, our, our roads taken care of. Um, and as far as taxes, I'm not gonna raise your taxes. I'm not gonna do that um, right now with our economy and the way, the way it is right now. This is a bad time to do that. I mean, I think we need to be cognizant of those things and, and, and putting up people first. So you mentioned public safety being number one and the new police chief. Um, without naming names again, <laughs> again um, what do you though look for in a chief and how would you work with them? You know, uh, what stands out to me and the reason why I said uh, the chief for Midland is because he is reaching out to the youth. He's been a part of these youth initiatives to grab these people before they come become criminals. So we wanna stop them from becoming criminals, give them an opportunity to make good choices. And I think that's gonna be really important. Um, but, but more importantly, he knows about the drug, about the drug situation that we've gotta take care of, uh, which is why I'm against Prop A um, and all that kind of stuff. So he understands that and uh, he's against that. And, and I think that's gonna be very important for us going forward because uh, Prop A is just a way for the cartels to get in uh, and, and infiltrate our system. And uh, whether you know he becomes the new chief or not, how do you expect to work with the new chief? Would you want them to also uh, focus on youth? Uh, yes, and I, I think the youth is our future. Uh, Whitney Houston wrote a song about that, um, and uh, it, it's a great example um, that that we have to raise them up and give them the opportunity to do everything uh, good and, and to make the right decisions. And so. Uh, I'm going to get behind that chief and make sure he has everything he needs to be successful and to be effective. And uh, I will never, ever, ever leave them hanging or without the things they need. And I'm, I'm going to stand on that. I stand on that word and, and I'll be faithful to that. So you mentioned uh, property taxes and not raising tax, um, uh, whether it be the tax rate or maybe just that new additional revenue, but how do you expect to pay for the roads that you mentioned that we're behind on, pay for new initiatives with the police department without doing that, without bringing in new revenue, at least through property taxes? Yeah, so um, the roads that I'm speaking of are the ones that we've already, we, we, we passed the bond 
uh, the street barn. Um, and that is behind. The work that we've already paid for is behind. Um, and no one down at city council really wants to take responsibility for that. And so we need to be more responsible. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm running for mayor. I want to be accountable to the people and, and, and let people know where we are and what my plan is for us to get where we need to be. It's going to be really important. And so Lubbock is now at a place where we need a very, very strong leader, someone who is going to step up and just put it all out there and give the people everything they need. And specifically with those roads, you say we're behind on them, but uh, whether we are or not, uh, what is your plan to address that? Uh, so like I was saying earlier, I, we've done a survey, my, my campaign team, we've done a survey to figure out what the city has already spun on, on the, the roads that we have um, and then what we're behind on. And so what we're going to do is the things that we're behind on, we're going to give them a timeline. Um, that they have to finish in and if they can't then we're going to have to reallocate those monies to some some other people that will be able to help us go ahead and finish that um, along the lines of the 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 way we create revenue i was i was that you were asking me earlier um, we've we've got to be innovative and, and we're moving to a, a, a more innovative time where we've got to keep our college students our texas tech students and our lcu students all these students here who can create businesses um, and not let them uh, dis get away from us and go to the city, um, the big cities, and, and create jobs there. We want them to stay here, which will create a lot of revenue, um, and then will also give the young people a chance to be the future that we that we're talking about. You mentioned that survey. Um, is that available to the public? Maybe on your website or anything like uh, that? No, it's not. But I will. I'll make it. I'll make it available. Yeah. I okay. Don't know, but. Uh, um, you know, a, a lot of candidates are mentioning, you know, crime, property tax, all the uh, city infrastructure, all those sorts of things. But what sets you apart um, from the other candidates? Uh, the peer drive that I have and, you know, the love that I have for the city. Um, it doesn't matter to me how much money you have, where you come from, where you work, what class you're in. Um, you matter to me because you're, you're a part of the city. The city has been good to me and has taught me so many things. And uh, I want to give it back to them. Um, I haven't been a perfect person in my entire life, you know, but I think this is an opportunity for me to give back to my community and serve them with a pure heart um, and not looking for money or anything else. And I like that about the way things are set up right now in Lubbock. You know, to be the mayor, you don't really get paid a lot. It's a $75 a month job. But you know what? That's good because we get the people who really want to serve. And then the other, on the flip side, we get people who don't really want to serve who are padding their pockets. So um, it, it, it's a flip, it's a, it's a really tricky thing, slippery slope, but I'm on the right side. I want to be on the right side of history. And that may be along these lines, but we talk about trying to do things differently or improve, but what do you think people in Lubbock should be proud of? What are you proud of um, when it comes to living in Lubbock? You know, we've been very resilient um, in all the things that we've done, um, all the way starting back from when we had the tornado um, in 1978, uh, how we came together and rebuilt um, our city and, and the things that were destroyed all the way up into now. Um, and we've had some really good leaders in between there um, and, and Mr. T.J. Patterson and some other people that have come along that, are really, that, that really set the path for me um, as a black candidate and for many other candidates that are out here right now. But, but most importantly, I'm, a, I'm proud of the fact that we're a Christian city and that we care about our people here. And that's something that really stands out to me. Um, everywhere I go, I've visited lots of churches and I've visited lots of communities and the people are very warm and opening and I think that's a big thing. I think that's, that's very good and I'm proud, of, I'm proud of Lubbock. I'm proud of all of you who are, who are doing those things. All right, Stephen Sanders, thank you so much for being with us. Yes, Appreciate sir. It. Thank you so much. Early voting uh, continues until April 30th, and Election Day will be May 4th. And join us on May 4th for election coverage you can count on.